hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i have more of a serious video for you guys like i get asked all the time i get messages in my dm like how do you come here what steps do you need to take to come to germany and what how do i go about getting here or how did i come here so i have the tips for you guys today so yeah i'll let you know how i went about things and how you guys can also go about things to come here in germany so yeah let's get right into the video so um from what i know people come here different ways like people come here through au pair studying go to university come here as a language student or people come here as a tourist you know and some people i guess since now there's like online dating and stuff some people will come here because of a guy or because of a girl there's so many reasons to come here like i think before they germany wasn't really easy or accessible especially for us foreigners in africa to come here and now there are like so many ways you guys can come here and most of the stuff is in the internet but it's hard for people to get through the way because most of the time the sites are in german and you don't understand what they're saying or what they want but yeah i feel like basically those are the ways that people right now come to germany so i have a few tips on what you need to know before you come to germany and the first thing i'll say is in whatever country you are learn german you need to learn german whether it's wanting to come here to do au pair to go to school to go to work germany needs you to know their language it's mandatory you need to go to a language school because there are different levels of language that they do from a1 to c2 so a1 is like the basic and c2 is university level like or professional level kind of german so you need to at least know a1 be able to communicate like the basic things because literally everything here is in their language so if you come here without the knowledge of the language you will experience so many problems in like, just going through your day because you're failing to understand the language you're failing to understand what they want and stuff like that and they really do not speak english i think i've mentioned it in my other video they really do not speak english or they rather do not want to speak english they prioritize their language more you need to know how to speak german that's like the first step if you're in africa or specifically back home in zimbabwe there are different um schools you can go to to go learn german to go learn a1 level of german which is like the basic like hi how are you can i get this and all those things you need that to come here that's like basic you need it whether you're coming here to do work that's uh done in english or school that's done in english you still have to learn german that's like the basic thing that you need to learn and then um the next thing for me will be um, getting your papers in order. Getting your papers in order, I mean, have all the papers you have, bring them here. Birth certificate, you don't really need your birth certificate, but I feel like the rest, your passport, always have your passport copy, your ID copy and all those things to come here and because they can ask those things anytime so you need to always have your papers in order and your papers for what exactly you're doing because after you present your papers to the embassy they give you a uh temporary residence permit which is like three months i think if i'm not mistaken and the exact thing that you coming here to do whether it's au pair or school or whatever or work and then when you get here to germany you change it you change that uh, temporary three month visa into like a what how however long your stay here is intended because you need to also have a contract for whatever you're going to do and that contract contract states 
how long you're in Germany and all those things. So always have your papers in order before you come here because like I said in my previous video, these people value papers. They value paperwork, you know? So always have your papers in order and come ready with your papers, whether it's school, work, like I said, old pair. Old pair is high here, actually. They really take a lot of old pairs here because I guess a lot of Germans have kids later in life. So they're busy with work. They need somebody to take care of their kids and all those things. So they most of the time need someone to help take care of the kids. That's an old pair, basically. So yeah, have your papers in order for you to come here and also i think when you do the language you get a language certificate as well at the end of your course that states yeah you've accomplished blah 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 level of german and you need to present also that paper to the german embassy when you're applying for your visa and stuff so like i said first one learn the language it's definitely important to learn the language before you even think of coming here and then put your papers in order and then the next thing before you come here and if you're going to study if you're coming here to study not like au pair because i feel like au pair you already have accommodation and then if you're coming to study find accommodation i guess it's harder to find accommodation when you're back home because it's already hard to find accommodation here but then you need to find accommodation try and find accommodation there are websites where you can look for accommodation or shared accommodation there's one website i'll link it down below it's called vg gesucht and you can look under that website and you can look for like it's a sharing for mostly students that's what they use to get um accommodation so yeah, find your accommodation. For an au pair, you're already staying at your host family's accommodation. So you really don't need to like stress about that. And then for normal people that are finding work or I think with work, they give you temporary housing and until you like settle down and all those things that you can find. But then accommodation, if it's not school accommodation, I'd, to be honest, I'd recommend someone to stay in school accommodation first before they come here and find themselves and then see what they like i'd rather choose school accommodation first of all so that you can get acquainted to the people acquainted to the place and you know you're safe in school than going straight to finding an apartment outside school because it's hard to find one and then like getting into the system it's kind of hard when you don't even know anybody and then um another way to come here and what you need to know uh for example if you're looking to go into university like i said you need to learn german that's one and university is here if you're doing your bachelor's they don't pay school fees people people get confused with that what they mean when they say they don't pay school fees is you pay like a semester fee which is about 300 to 400 euro a semester which is um that 300 or 400 euro it covers transport it covers i think library fees as well and just a few nitty gritties of like just going around the university so that's what they they call tuition here which is not like the ten thousand and the whatnots that you pay somewhere else here they just cover those few euros as a they call it a semester fee so that's why people always say it's free to study in germany because you don't really pay much if you're going to work on the side you can you can i think you can manage to pay um, a semester fee of 300 to 400 euro and then yeah you need to know that you need to know the exact degree you want to study and look as well if their classes are also in german or in english but most bachelor's degrees that i know 
are done in German. That's why it's really mandatory. So you need to study in German. You need to know, as I said, you need to know German. And to go to university, you also need C1 or C2 level of German, which is like the highest level of German, which is more complex. So you need to also know that. You need to also go to school to improve your German so that you can get into a degree in Germany that's um free so to say and if um the next point is if you're coming for your masters um masters in Germany are not free masters are paid for I think masters are like 10,000 and above or 8k and above and then they're not free but the good thing is most of them are taught in English. But like I said, as I go back again, need to learn German. That's basic. You need to know German. So, master's degrees are in English and you have to pay your tuition. You have to fund for yourself, so to say. So, yeah, master's, you study in English. You have to pay the school fees for a year. And I guess it also depends with... The region that you're in and the region depends with how much you have to pay in terms of school fees but yeah for masters you don't need to um you need you need to learn german like basic you don't need to go to extremes of learning c1 as compared to when you're doing your bachelor's i think i, I guess it it covers itself masters you're learning in english but you only need c1 then uh bachelor's degree you're only paying 300 to 400 euro a semester but you need to learn german so i guess it kind of like balances itself out for you and then another thing that they have they have something called an ausbildung an ausbildung uh if i translate an ausbildung i think it means vocational training so it's like an apprentice so you go to school and you go to work at the same time. There's so many apprenticeships in Germany. There's so many in each and every um, department of work, there is an apprenticeship. So it basically means you learn more of the uh, handwork more than the theory. Even though you go to school, you learn you're learning more i feel like you're learning more than someone who's in university who's just mostly focusing on the theory of business and like if you're working if you're doing an arts building in business for example and you work in a um office in a real estate office for example you're learning the business side of real estate and you're actually doing the practical work like of real estate so that's an example or you're working you're going to school to study nursing and stuff to know what's going on in the hospital and you're also going to the hospital to work to get um like practical work and to see how it works in the hospital so i feel like an arts building is has a more like leverage for you because you're gaining at work and you're gaining in school and also in our school room you get paid so which is a good thing since you're working you're already getting paid at work so you get paid every month for our school room it depends what else we're doing, you're doing and the pay is really different i can't really tell you how much it is for every house school room but it depends with the house school room that you're doing so yeah that's um on our buildings that like i said they're easy and how you get them i, I got a question on how do i have is this a specific website Ugh, specific website for an house building and no you just i'll link down uh, a website that i know that has a list of house buildings that are there in germany and that are offered in germany and there you can choose what you feel like fits your description or fits where you want to be and then engineering in a bakery in nursing in in an office somewhere you can do that and then 
I'll list down the link of the website that you can look at and then you see what kind of algorithm you think you want to do and then another thing is uh, FS Yacht FS Yacht means uh, a social year a social year also people can come here to do a social year which means volunteering you can come here and you can volunteer and yeah that's i think with the social year you get paid as well but not a lot because you are really a volunteer and a volunteer is not supposed to be paid right so an fs yacht or a volunteer's year is a year long or you can do it for six months or to up to a year you can come do that as well and you can volunteer in so many places like disabled homes in kindergartens anywhere where they need um practical work so that's um an fs yacht it's called an fs yacht which is fsj so they do that as well and yeah that's like basically what you need to know before you come to Germany and you need to look at the things that you yourself want to do and then you take it from there so guys I hope I helped you guys in stuff that you needed to know about coming here or stuff that you need to know what to do because like I said I get so many questions how do I come here how do I go about this so I hope I helped you guys with the information that I know I'm going to try and put down websites on au pairs, websites on um, FSJ, websites on arts buildings and universities that I know in master's degrees as well that I know. Unfortunately for work, I can't really help because that's more professional. I guess you have to look for a specific job that you want to do, then you can look it up. But for those kind of things like studying and being an au pair, I'll link the links down below and then you guys can check it out. And like I said, and then I'll put also the school that I know in Zimbabwe that does um, these language schools that, that that helps you in gaining your language certificate here in Germany. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe you guys. And yeah, if you like these videos, if you like these informative videos about Germany, let me know and then i'll record more videos about germany so yeah i'll see you next time you guys bye